planet Earth, rich with life, movement, kinetic, alive. Roughly nine million kinds of plant, animal, fungi, and protist. An ecosystem that is diverse and complex, working together to ensure life. Sun and rain bring about producers and decomposers. Primary consumers feed on producers. Secondary consumers feed on primary consumers. And tertiary consumers feed on secondary consumers. Humans feed on everything. The web of life on planet Earth. The key to this system is balance and diversity. A healthy ecosystem has all of its diverse components working in harmony. Loosened components were less diverse. And lack of diversity means bad news. Consider this. Humans currently use 25% more natural resources than our planet can sustain. More than 900 species of plant or animal have become extinct. Close to 17,000 are threatened with extinction. Each one of these species plays a role in maintaining that balance. Losing just one causes a chain reaction. Think about it. The key to curing cancer may lie in a plant that hasn't yet been discovered. A plant that could be threatened right now, and we don't even know it. This is just one reason why some scientists believe that a loss of biodiversity is the greatest threat to planet Earth as we know it. The good news is, you can encourage biodiversity locally in your own backyard by growing native plants, avoiding pesticides, and using natural compost over chemical fertilizers. Let some areas of your property grow wild and delight in the result. Put some large rocks in your garden and watch the butterflies warm themselves in the sun. These are just a few of the many things you can do to encourage local biodiversity. And while it may not seem like you're making much of an impact on the world, you are. If you want to think more globally, check out the Center for Biological Diversity online to learn how you can help. Or look into what the World Health Organization has to say about the impact of biodiversity loss.